Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce you to a bunch of small games. So there's a group called DevChat, which is basically a loose collection of people united under a single name. And they held a game jam centered around the theme of Ghost Wheel? Yes, it actually has a question mark at the end of it. I have no idea what the theme is about. It's very strange, but nonetheless, in a period of 48 hours, they produced nine separate games and released them for free in the Ghost Wheel bundle. And I thought it'd be fun to take a look at every single one of them and spend about a minute on each one. So, let's jump into it. First up is Ghost Wheel Town, which involves both ghosts and wheels. So I'm some sort of a skeleton dude, I think, and there's this little wheel here that moves around when I step on it, and you jump on the ghosts to kill them. Hmm, what if I can get up here? Oh yeah, I think... Uh, if I keep jumping, I'm just gonna keep moving this thing down. Uh, it says 12 out of 100 at the top before I died there. I wonder if I get to 100... Well, what happens? Hmm. One must wonder. Let me see if I can get to the top here. Huh? Huh? Oh, there we go. Okay. Anything magical gonna happen? No, but it is a lot easier to fight here. I wonder what happens when I get to 100. The score is taunting me. It's saying, complete me. Oh, so if you collect the green things, that gives you... Oh, so you actually get three. Yeah, you get three green things, which improves your score from each ghost. Okay, interesting. I do wonder what would happen if I got it to 100. But I'm going to leave that to you to find out. Next up is Everyday Ghosts. This one has some really impressive art. So you and whoever you're with, uh, it seems like they're scavenging around here. Some sort of a place that's filled with a bunch of, like, garbage and junk and stuff. And, uh, oh, by the way, the running animation is absolutely incredible. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. And when you hit these gear things, for whatever reason, that causes the ghosts to appear. So this place is haunted, I suppose you could say. And you can have a chat with them. The more of them you hit, the more ghosts will appear. There, another one's just appeared. Let's get that one. I wonder how you get that gear up there. Can I just walk up the pile? Let's see. Maybe... Eh, eh, um, don't think so. Hmm. And yeah, this place seems to be some sort of a junkyard. Uh, what your end goal is, I'm not sure. Maybe your car broke down and you're looking for something. Some sort of a part. Or maybe you're just scavenging, looking for anything valuable. Don't know. You can look in the distance and... Well, this place just looks and feels like a wasteland. The wind, the sand, the junk. Next up is A Walk in the Rain. This one is described by the creator as an ambient interactive screensaver. And it's apparently supposed to evoke a zen trance. So it's a very calm one, filled with rain in very, very gentle colors. And as far as I can tell, the only thing you can do is just move forwards. And when you do that, the color just very gently changes. It's very peaceful and very easy to get lost in. I could imagine if you could maybe get really close to your monitor and just have this view completely envelop your senses. It could be very, very relaxing. In fact, it already is relaxing. Next up is a ghost porno, page by page, which unfortunately is much less graphic than I hoped it would be. Basically, it seems like you're trying to see Ghostborn by candlelight. You can actually grab everything here, so you can actually grab the candle and move the light source around, which is pretty cool. It's got a very satisfying feel to it, too. With those sound effects that kind of, like, pop. When you pick and drop down things. You can do the same for the smartphone, too. It's very satisfying just to touch things. And the smartphone can actually even cover up the light, which is a pretty cool little detail. So if you look on the phone and flip through it, some words. 
There's a ghost? <gasps> There's another ghost? <gasps> they're kissing? And they're in love. The end. Next up is Ghost. In this one, you actually play as a ghost trying to scare children. So if you get into the light like this, you start to take damage. And if the children get into the dark, they start to take damage. So your goal is to basically scare them into having a heart attack, I guess, <laughs> using your abilities. So you have two abilities. You have the ability to turn off lights, like this, or make lights flicker, like, li like, is it working? There we go. I think they just, yeah, there we go. They're flickering. So let's see if I can scare some children. I'm going to make you all have heart attacks. There we go. See? Taking damage, taking damage, taking... Oh god, I'm taking damage too. Get some flickering going on. Ooh, I'm really close to dead, but I think I can get him. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I... <laughs> and I just died, so I just respawned. Next up is Prowl. As it says in the readme, listen to some messed up jazz and look out the window until the song ends or you get bored. That's pretty much it, but it is a very atmospheric game. And the jazz music that plays is very, very strange. It sounds kind of... broken. You're being driven around by someone who is themselves a ghost. Which I suppose fits the theme, doesn't it? A ghost driver, or perhaps just a possessed ghost car. Maybe I myself am a ghost and no one can see me. And you can actually roll down the window. Look at the rain. Look at the streets. Look at the buildings that endlessly go on. Where are we driving? And where are we going? And what am I actually doing? I have no idea. Perhaps I'm some old spirit reenacting memories of my life. Next up is Carnegie. Are you scared yet? Well, you're about to be when you see this horrifying, horrifying game. No, actually, it's quite cute. So basically, you're defending your Ferris wheel from these evil robot things. You can spin around it and shoot them. If they get close, like this one, let's watch. Let's watch this one get close. They actually destroy your ferris wheel boxes or whatever these things are called, I have no idea. And then they fall off. It is just wrong. It's, it's sick. Instead of moving around, I've actually found a pretty effective thing is to stay in one place and just shoot, like, around where you see the exclamation marks. Often you can even hit them when they're off screen. Seems to work pretty well. And the interesting thing about the game design, too, is that they only attack... The robot things only attack whatever boxes are left, so the more that fall off, the less area there is to defend, because there's less points for them to attack. So it actually kind of gets easier and more desperate as you go on, because it's easier to defend, but at the same time, you know, if you lose all of your boxes, well, I suppose you lose completely. So it becomes both easier and yet more desperate at the same time. Interesting. Next up is Music for Decay. In this one, you move constantly forwards on this track while some awesome music plays, and you have to defend yourself against two different threats. The spike bits that you see popping up, and a skeleton head that comes shooting at you. So let's begin. And there's two ways to defend yourself against these things. You can either move out of the way, or you can become temporarily invulnerable for about one square. So you have to use it at just the right time, like this. There we go. So what you really want to look out for is places that have two spike traps right next to each other, because those you don't want to get- oop, you don't want to get caught in front of. Because you can't dodge long enough to get over them. Whoops. Music is really good, and it looks damn good to boot. And finally, we have Invasion. You play as a floating ghost dude with a gun, shooting other ghost dudes that want to eat you. And if you get hit even once, you die. 
These little guys here die in one hit, and the big ones die in three. And the further you go on, the faster everything gets. The enemies get faster, they get more frequent, and your gun gets faster at the same time. So it becomes more frantic. In fact, it's getting faster right now, and I think I'm about to die. Oh god, oh god, is my head gonna hit? Oh, my head, oh, barely head clearance. Oh, so I don't even know what just happened, but I just died. Oh well. Anyway, okay, so that has been the Ghost Wheel bundle. Gotta add the question mark in, of course. It is completely free, and I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Thank you for watching.